So um, one of the questions that I do get asked um, often is um, if I have any recommendations for chairs um, sitting at you know for, for sitting at your desk, and um, I you know there are a lot out there, and you know honestly they're gonna it's gonna depend on your body type. Um, you know some people are shorter, some people are taller, and there's going to be a difference in terms of the depth of the seat um, if your feet are touching, but. Um, one of the things that um, I, I was like, I was showing you here with the chair that I use um, called the Swapper. So I'm gonna just kind of show you here. But one of the cool things with this chair is that it is kind of like sitting on a ball. And, um, and so why I do like it is that when I'm sitting, I'm able to basically, you know, get a little bit of movement in my spine. I can do a little bit of, of you know, pelvic tilting while I'm sitting here. I can do a little, um, a little side to side, I can do some circles. So it's just like being on a ball, except for I'm not a, on a ball. And like I said, my, I, I have three of these in my house. So my husband has one and we have one for our computer downstairs. But what's nice about it, and just like, you know, like if you are sitting on a ball, and actually this, um, this does adjust, which is nice. So if you were a little shorter, you can have it down further. If you're taller, you can have it up higher. And it's nice because what you can do, I always say, you know, if you're sitting there and you're, you're typing along and you start kind of slumping, you know, the quick way to get everything kind of back into the correct neutral spine is actually is you just do a couple little bounces and then you're on your way. Um, and that's a much easier thing to be able to do because I can still stay focused. I do a little bounce as I'm kind of, you know, every so often as I'm typing. And what's nice here is that you can see if I have to go reach for something, the chair goes with me. So I'm able to really maintain some good body mechanics while I'm sitting at my computer. And I try not to sit for too long. I mean, obviously you want to be able to take um, frequent breaks, but boy, when you do have to sit down, um, I really enjoy these chairs. I think they're great. So you can get these at uh, www.swapper.com. They are not cheap. They are probably $600 chairs somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, but do check your local Craigslist. Um, I have gotten very lucky on Craigslist and, um, and I've gotten some really good deals there on and the three chairs I bought, all three were from Craigslist. Um, I, I had known about these chairs for a while and I just, you know, just kept an eye out. So sometimes um, you have to watch for a couple months um, in, and then you'll see them um, appear, but I have a lot of people don't know about them. so. They might be on there a little bit longer. Someone does post one. But anyways, um, this is definitely my favorite desk chair. I think it is, um, you know, like I said, it gives you the, the benefits of being on the ball. The ball is the cheap version. So you know what? If you do have a home office, you don't want to spend a lot of money. You know, get one of those big, um, those big therapy balls. And, and they're great because you can do the same thing. You can bounce with them and, um, and you're able to be comfortable. But for something where, you know, maybe you want something a little more professional, you want it in your office, um, and they actually have these with wheels. I don't know that I would like it on wheels because I would feel like it might be a little bit too unstable. Uh, it might depend on the surface I was on. Um, but like I said, this is, this is pretty much planted and it feels great. So anyways, um, I do have to get off to work. So hopefully um, you guys got a little, a new little tip, learned about a new type of chair and make sure that you do sit um, with good posture when you can. Um, the name of it is called Swapper. So www.swapper.com. Um, and um, yeah, they're great chairs. I think if you have a Scandinavian Designs um, next to you, I'm in the Bay Area, so we do have that store here. Um, they sell them there, so you could actually go and try them out, which is kind of nice. But like I said, Craigslist is a great way to go.